Hey guys, this is Not Lammers and Vogue 101. Welcome back, and today we're doing a Noble Knight deck profile. So this isn't as optimal. There are a couple cards that I'm going to talk about that I'm like, oh, well, I should swap this for something else, but really it's only one or two cards, and I'll try to explain all my choices. But before we get into it, down in the description, there is a link to our Patreon if you feel like supporting us that way, and there's also a link to our Teespring if you feel like getting yourself some Invoked 101 merch. With that out of the way, we're going to set the extra deck and the spells and traps off to the side, and we'll get right into the deck profile. Starting off, we're playing three Noble Knight Brothers because I'm really bad. <laughs> Noble Knight Brothers has, is, is pretty neat. It says, uh, this card can only attack if you control exactly three Noble Knights and no others, no other monsters. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon up to two Noble Knight monsters from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon uh, monsters for the rest of this turn except Noble Knights. Uh, you can Once per turn, you can target three Noble Knight and or Noble Arms cards in your graveyard, shuffle three into the deck, and draw a card. This realistically should be, uh, I should really only be playing two because he's not super great, but um, I'm playing a third because I don't have a third of another guy. After that, I'm playing triple Boars. Uh, Boars is really good. Uh, he doesn't do anything. He's a normal monster uh, normally when on board, but then when he gets equipped with a equip spell, he gains a level, becomes dark, and gets a bonus and gets an effect, which is uh, this card... Uh, you can reveal three Noble Arms cards from your deck, have your opponent randomly choose one uh, to add to your hand, and send the rest to the graveyard. Uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. So Boars is pretty good. Uh, easily one of the better ones. Uh, next up we have Kustanen, and Kustanen is really, really good. Um, this guy is awesome. So... Uh, his effect is, if you control a Noble a noble Arms equipped spell, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon custom and once per turn this way. If a, a Noble Knight monster that was Synchro, Exes, or a Link summon using this card as material from the field gains this effect. If this card was special summoned, if this card is special summoned, you can normal summon one Noble Knight monster during your main phase this turn in addition to your normal summon slash set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Noble Knights for the rest of the turn. So, pretty cool, very good. Next up we have the two of, that really should be a three of, and that's Medrout. Um, legit, if I had a, another Medrout, I would be playing it. I only have two, uh, but should probably get a third one. And I would just cut a Noble Arms Brother, Noble Knight Brother, and make it a third Medrout. Uh, Medrout has the same effect as um, Boars, where it's a normal monster, but then when it gets equipped, it becomes a dark with a bonus level, except he gets the special summon a Noble Knight from the deck and then uh, destroy an equip spell equipped to him. So that's pretty dope. Uh, then we have the level five Iktar. So Iktar is really cool. I believe he's like a BLS for the deck. It says that uh, you can banish two Noble Knight monsters from your graveyard, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. You can only use this effect of uh, Noble Knight Iktar once per turn. A Synchro Exes monster of a Noble Knight using this card of material cannot be negated. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when that monster is special summoned. So that's really cool. Just kind of gives you something nice to uh, go into Isold, so that way uh, they can't like uh, strike the Isold or whatever. Uh, after that, we have more one ofs. We have Dristin, and I actually don't know what this one does. It says, uh, while you control another Noble Knight monster, your opponent cannot target your monsters with less than uh, 1800 attack, except this card, for attacks or with card effects. If a Noble Arms equipped spell is equipped to this card, target a face up card on the field, destroy that target. You can only use each effect of Dristin once per turn. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I actually never ended up summoning this guy because I never saw him in testing, so good to know what he does. Uh, Yvain is really cool. I know that Yvain gets to summon a token, which is pretty dope. It says, uh, if a Noble Arms equipped spell becomes equipped to this card, special summon a Noble Knight token, Warrior Light, level 4, 1000-1000. Uh, you can also not special summon monsters for this this turn, except Noble Knights. You can only use each effect of Noble Knight Yvain once per turn. If this card is equipped with Noble Arms equipped spell, all other Noble Knights uh, you control gain 500 attack. And then we have the last Noble Knight I'm maining, which is Pelinor. Uh, Pelinor has the following effect, which says target a Noble Arms equipped spell equipped with this card and one face-up monster your opponent controls, destroy them, then draw a card. And also, this card cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can only use each effect Pelinor once per turn. So Pelinor is clearly the weak link. <laughs> uh, that's it for the official Noble Knights uh, right here. Then we have uh, Triple Merlin. Merlin is really cool. Definitely one of the best cards in the deck. Um, so his effect is... Uh, you can only use each effect of Merlin once per turn. 
Uh, and then it has three different effects. It says you can tribute this card, special summon one Noble Knight monster from your deck. You cannot special summon uh, other monsters this turn except Noble Knights. Then it says uh, during, then its other effects are during either player's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard immediately after Synchro Summon a Noble Knight Synchro monster using monsters you currently control. Or during either player's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard immediately after this effect resolves. Xyz Summon a Noble Knight Xyz using monsters you control. So pretty cool. Merlin's pretty good. Then we have uh, Guinevere, Queen of Noble Arms. The main reason we're playing her as a Noble Arms card, because uh, boars can search her, and search, but you can also uh, equip her from Graveyard, which is pretty dope. And uh, so she's really good, mostly for that. And then we have uh, Morgan, the Enchantress of Avalon. So this is the other, the new Noble Knight card, the Hand Trap, or one of the new Noble Knight cards. Its effects is, uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect where you control a Noble Knight monster and a Noble Arms uh, equip spell, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, destroy one Noble Arms equip spell you control, and if you do, negate the activation. You can only use each effect of Morgan once per turn. What really sucks is that uh, she doesn't negate and destroy. It would be really nice if she negated and destroyed um, but I guess they kind of wanted to make a Subterra Fiendus for the deck, which she kind of covers, except uh, she's not nearly as good as Subterra Fiendus. Uh, Subterra Fiendus is insane. But yeah, still uh, covers a lot of ground and is pretty good for the deck. Uh, that's it for the monsters for the Noble Knights. Moving to the spells, we're playing Triple Heritage of the Chalice. This is their Roto, which is really something Noble Knights should have had to begin with. It says, uh, it says add one Noble uh, Knight monster or one Noble Arms equip spell from your deck to your hand. And then it says, if your Noble Knight monster equipped with a Noble Arms equip spell is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. You can only use one Heritage of the Chalice effect per turn and only once that turn. So if your Noble Knight dies, you get to recycle it, but it also is a Rota for like everything. And that's gonna be relevant in just a second. And speaking of Rota, uh, also Rota. <laughs> uh, one reinforcement of the army just to also search. So we have four search cards. Uh, so the reason I say that this is relevant uh, in a second is because I'm only playing two glory of the chalice or glory glory of the noble knights Sorry, not glory of the chalice um, Glory of the noble knights says uh, target one noble knight monster you control equip it with one um, Equip spell one appropriate equip spell from your deck. I believe it's, it has to be a noble arms No, it's just any equip spell um, and then you can only activate one per turn The only reason I'm playing two of this is because it's kind of a brick um, you don't want to I there was three in here, but I didn't want to, I swapped it out for another equip spell. I just didn't feel that this was worth running three of, especially with this and the fact that I'm playing like nine equip spells, which we'll talk about in right now. Move those off and let's get to the equip spells. So we're playing uh, two Noble noble Arms Caliburn. This is one of the better ones in my opinion. It says you can only control one face up Noble Arms Caliburn. Equip only to a warrior type monster against 500 attack. Once per turn, you can gain 500 life points. This face-up card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can target a warrior-type Noble Knight monster you control. Equip this card to that target. You can only use each effect of Caliburn once per turn. So pretty cool. Just a 500 buff, but also gaining 500. I really like it. I thought it was good. And then we also have two Excaliburn. This has the effect of equip only to a Noble Knight monster. It cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. During your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, banish this card from your graveyard. And then target a Noble Knight uh, Xyz monster you control. Special summon from your extra deck one Noble Knight Xyz monster with a different name by using that target as the Xyz material. This special summon is treated as an Xyz summon. Xyz materials attached to that become Xyz material in the summon monster. You can only use each effect of Caliburn, Excalibur once per turn. So it's a rank up spell, kind of. It's pretty good. Then we have two Noble Arms of Destiny. This is another really good one. It says uh, you can only control one Noble Arms of Destiny equipped only to a warrior type monster. Once per turn, the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If this face-up card on the field is destroyed, sent to the graveyard, you can target a warrior-type Noble Knight you control, equip this card to that target. You can only use each effect once per turn. So that's pretty good. Then we have Arfriter, um, and Arfriter is kind of like okay. It's not super great, but we're only playing one. So its effect is you can only control one face-up Arfriter, equip only to a warrior monster. Once per turn, target one set card your opponent controls. The equipped monster permanently loses 500 attack, and if it does, destroy that target. This attack loss remains even if this card leaves the field or the monster becomes unaffected by card effects. If this face-up card on the field is destroyed since the graveyard, blah blah blah, equip it back to a Noble Knight. You can only use one effect. Then we have Clarent, which is one of the coolest artworks. Uh, whoa, you want to focus there, camera? One of the coolest artworks in the Noble Knight deck. I really like this artwork because it's Medrow picking up the sword that he's going to use uh, to kill um, Artorius with, which I think is really cool. 
So it says equip only to a warrior monster. You can only control one noble arms clarent. Once per turn, pay 500. The equipped monster can attack directly this turn. If this face up card on the field, blah, blah, blah. Equip to an all knight once per turn. And then the last one we play is Galatin. So Galatin has the effect of, you can only control one noble arms Galatin. Equip only to a warrior monster. It gains 1000 attack. During each of your standby phases, it loses 200 attack. If this face up card, blah, 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 blah. Equip to a noble knight once per turn. Yeah. All right, so that's it for the equip spells and the spells in general. So after that, what do we have? We have three traps and that trap is until noble arms are needed again. This is a really cool trap and I didn't think it was that great at first until like I saw it getting uh, being played and I was like, that is an insane trap card. So its effect is, Excavate targets from the top of your deck equal to the number of noble arms equip spells you control. And if you do, add one of them to your hand. Also place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. You can banish this card from your from your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there. Special summon from the deck one noble knight monster with a different name from the cards you current you control or in your graveyard. You can only use uh, each effective until noble arms are needed again once per turn. So this is really cool. It's really cool artwork in general. It's also a, a new platinum secret rare, which is pretty dope. So it kind of matches with the rest of the deck. It's a very, very cool card. All right, with that out of the way, we're gonna move into the extra deck and we'll start with some of the links that I'm playing. Uh, Land Falinkus, just cause. Uh, Topologic Bomber Dragon, just cause. And then of course we have two I sold. Uh, it is Noble Knight, so you can really take effect of all her abilities and the fact that the Noble Arms go to the graveyard, which is pretty dope, but yeah, two I sold, really uh, kind of necessary for this. Um, then after that, we're playing two Sacred Noble Knight of uh, King Custanen. So this guy is pretty weird. Um, he's not bad, but he's not super great. Uh, I definitely think the other Noble Knight Xyz monsters are better, but he's okay. So his effect is to, he needs two level four or more, two plus level four Noble Knights. And its effect is you can detach any number of materials from this card, then target that many cards your opponent controls. Return them to the hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Noble Knight Xyz monster from your extra deck, except uh, King Custanen, and if you do, attach this card from the graveyard to that monster's materials. Treat it as an Xyz summon. You can only use each effect of King Custanen once per turn. And he has 1525, so he's not like the biggest guy, but he's also not awful. Um, I definitely think that he could have been better, but I don't think he's bad. Um, after that, we have Artorius, King of the Noble Knights. Um, so this guy's really cool. His effect, he needs two level four uh, Noble Knight monsters, and his effect is when this card is XZ summoned, you can target up to three Noble Arms equipped spells with different names in your graveyard. Equip those targets to this card. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, destroy any number of spell and trap cards on the field up to the number of Noble Arms you control. So that's pretty cool. And then after him, we play the rank five at two as well. This is Sacred Noble Knight of King Artorius. So what's really weird is that uh, this isn't just Noble uh, Custom and King of the Noble Knights, which would have made way more sense to me, but it's safe and it's not a, and it's rank four, so realistically, it should follow this guy's naming scheme, but whatever. Um, I think the uh, actual Custom, no, no, it's just Noble Knight Custom, huh? So it's not weird, anyway. Sacred Noble Knight of King of King Artorius uh, needs two level five uh, Noble Knight monsters, and it has the effect of when this card is XZ summoned, you can target up to three Noble Arms equipped spells. Uh, with different names in your graveyard, equip those targets to this card. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one other monster on the field, destroy it. This card is sent from the field to the graveyard. You can target one level four or higher Noble Knight monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. So that's pretty cool, a little bit of recovery. And of course, you can play whatever you want in here. If you play the, the bad tuner, you can play the synchro, who isn't super awful, but he's not super great either. But you can play him. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff. And the, and because they're a rank four deck, you can also play stuff like Baguska, uh, Bist Dweller. Um, they do kind of lock you into Noblites. Like there's a lot of stuff that does lock you into Noblites, which does kind of suck, but uh, they're not the worst uh, deck that is like, they definitely can get around it, if you know what I mean. Like they don't have to just be stuck to Noblites. You can definitely play around that fact. Um, but yeah, definitely a fun, fun deck and something that I'm really glad to add to the collection. Anyways, tell me what you guys thought about this deck in the comments below. I know it's not the greatest Noble Knight deck, but it is a pretty good starting point in my opinion. Now look forward to updating this deck as time goes on. Uh, so let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, while you're down there, feel free to check out that description. There is a Patreon and a Teespring if you feel like getting yourself some merch. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.